Hey everyone, it's Kristen Burt with Red Carpet Report. Tonight we are in Beverly Hills for the 16th Annual Prism Awards, which honors the accurate depiction of social issues in TV and film. Let's see who walks down that yellow carpet. Well, congratulations, you're being honored tonight. How does that feel? Uh, it's very exciting, it's very exciting. Uh, I was just saying that, that in, you know, daytime television has been known for really groundbreaking a lot of different areas. And sometimes they do also do things that aren't so great, you know, like just titillation and that sort of thing. But to be a part of this storyline that can really touch where a lot of people are really suffering right now or don't understand what's going on with their child or with their son or daughter who's come back from Iraq or Afghanistan or just been in a terrible, maybe they got mugged, you know. It's a very misunderstood um, uh, disease and, 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 sit and condition. And we just scratched the surface with it, but I'm really glad that people will actually will try and actually think about it and, you know, like consider, wow, maybe I should find out more about this, you know. Maybe I have it. You know? <laughs> well, that's the amazing thing. I mean, soap operas have always been really groundbreaking in terms of storylines, even before primetime television will touch it. it. It's true. I mean, the story, the, it seems safer because there's a lot of strong censoring going on, although it doesn't always look like it. Um, but sometimes things can slip in. You tell a story every day, there's more chance of that story getting in. And, and, and for that reason, it's also, we actually, as the actors, we have a lot more chance to humanize it sometimes because you're not caught up in like a big cliffhanger moment. You just observe people, you know? And so and make it a little more uh, accessible to people, which I think is really important. How has the whole landscape been the last year with, you know, ABC soaps kind of going away and, and, you know, it's been tough. I mean, have you guys felt it over it's at Weiner? Been, oh, I, and, um, I'm on days right now, but you never know next week. I know you guys hop all over the place. No, no, we do, but I mean, the thing, thing is, it, you really do come to know people and it really, it's like losing, you know, friends. And, and also the people working behind the cameras and the crew and the production people, you really start realizing there's a lot of people who have been employed and making a good living and, and, and really happy and, and a lot of fans who have not been able to, or not, wonderful shows, All My Children and, 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 uh, and, and One Night to Live, I was on that one. And I mean, just great people, great stories. And I, I, I just keep thinking, I, I, walking away from 35 or 40 year franchise character and history, you don't just, you cannot just whip that up. You can't just create that. And, and I, just, I just wish that someone could kind of swoop in and like, and hold on to those things. Because when they're gone, they're gone. They are gone. And, that, and that's what's tragic, so. Yeah, and it is tragic and because people really, really do love these stories. And you get to turn around in another six months, a year, two years. Someone's going to say, let's do something like a, like a soap opera. Yeah, I mean, it'll, it, it just goes around. All NBC shows have been soap operas for years. They act like they're not, but all the nighttime run through is, it's a soap opera, you know? So it's just funny. Like, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's serialized storytelling. What happens next? Well, we'll have to find out and see, but congratulations yes, tonight. Thank you very much. You bet. Nice Thank to meet you. you.